You did it, Eve. Well done. Why are you hesitating? Because we were comrades? Or because I'm human like you? Except you don't believe we're human. <laughs> Your mainframe's nerve fibers and exospine have all been severed. So now, you won't be able to fight. You... You've taken so much from me. In exchange, I'll allow you to witness the end. In that state. Huh? What? What do you think you're doing? <gasps> Who do you think you are? You don't know anything. Kill me! Go ahead and kill me! I wouldn't be your first. Lily, let's go. Eve, stop right there! Finish this! Eve! Eve! Looks like this is where all the Natibas are born. Although everything looks so natural. It makes me wonder, is this how real life is born after all? Isn't the elder at the end of this path? I know this is a disappointment. I'm sorry, Eve. 
Everything that has happened until now, and even before, it began with me. I am the source of it all. Adam. Or would you prefer I call you Elder? What are you scheming? You pretended to rescue me. Pretended to help me on my mission. All under the guise of helping Zion. What are you really after? I want atonement. I want forgiveness. I want us to heal. Please know that everything I have done, I have done sincerely. Enough of this nonsense! My comrades, the people of Zion who trusted you, tell me why they had to die! Eve, you... You have every right to be mad, I understand. Elder Natiba, you... Please, listen to me, Eve. First, I'm sorry for what happened between you and Raven. In the end, she had her own motives, and that way she was a lot like Oracle. As you've discovered, you were created by the surviving humans, to look and act like them. And us? We're nothing but monsters. Right from the start, we struggled to coexist. Of course we did. Because we Natibas were weak. We were not yet mature enough to fully accept your kind. This foolishness resulted in tragedy. In the end, we gave up our humanity in order to survive. Earth is too small for both our species to coexist. However, even if all the Natibas disappear, it's impossible for your kind to succeed the human race. After all, you were created entirely from scratch, with no human DNA at all. And what is it you're going to do? You think you're the one to end this? Gruesome slaughter. Yes. I've been researching for decades to find a way. A way for us all to become the inheritors of the human race. An Andro Eidos, with the most advanced unisonous hyperbody ever seen, and the ultimate Natiba that has not succumbed to its hostile instincts. These are the two necessary ingredients. You mean... Yes. You and I. We are what is needed. Eve. I offer you one last deal. Let us become whole. One being. A single, evolved human species. If we fuse together, we can truly become the seeds of a new human race. That, that's insane! There's no point in listening to this, Eve! At this rate, Mother Sphere will do the same thing over and over again. I wouldn't be surprised if she even destroyed the colony, and thereby Earth. As you know, she will not stop. But this is not the path that humans should take. But there's no proof that this fusion is the right path to take. Especially considering everything you've done. You're right, Lily. However, my wish to save the new humans and surviving humans was... is... sincere. As unbelievable as it may be.
Lily, take this. But this is... This is the last hypercell needed to rebuild Zion. Zion can be saved no matter what choice Eve makes. It would mean so much if you could do this for me. Eve, your mission is to eliminate me. If you fuse with me, the Elder Natiba, as you know it, will cease to exist. Forever. Is there any better way to complete your mission? Eve. Take my hand. I can save you. We can save each other. We can save everyone. Of our existence is to eliminate the Elder Natiba and save mankind. Natiba, or Andro Ados, is one more human than the other. If an entire species is wiped out so that another may remain, can we really call that salvation? But. But. If there is a way to save both species, I want to follow that path, to the end. That's all I want. Yes, so do I. We're like mirrors to each other. Your choice may not bring about peace and stability right away, but our union will create the greatest chance for a peaceful future, now. Yes. Are you Eve? Yes. Well, it's hard to describe, but... Lily, I am the Eve you remember. I was worried that you would become someone I didn't know. Lily. Connection to the colony. Sending protocol. Sensing strong native signals nearby. Switching to combat mode. Ah! The X is 
suit is moving by itself. It must be because the Elder disappeared. This is a combat command sent from the colony. Ah! Eve! Watch out! Now, there's nothing stopping us. Right. Eve, I thought I'd be left alone. Oh, I'm sorry, I'm just... I'm still not used to the new look. Still, I'll get used to it one day, right? Yes, Lily. I'm sure you will. Oh, too many things happened today. Yes. And even more awaits us. Let's return to the Tetrapod. Reflecting on satellites. Predicting the future. It's like trying to find one single star in the endless sky. I serve the future of mankind. Though whether that future would embrace me, I cannot say. But, for the sake of Father, I refuse to give up. The one who gave birth to me, taught me, the one who's no more.
Yes. I must confirm if you are, in fact, that future. Mother... Sphere? Nice to meet you, Eve and Lily. You have more than met my expectations. The final decision was a bit disappointing, yes. But, thank you. What are you... What are you talking about? This concludes the EVE Protocol. Stay back. So this is your plan. Then I'll gladly play my part. Now.
Humanity Never say what find not true 